Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be using this die from Scrap Diva Designs and it makes a heart jelly bag. It is so, so cute and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Um, so I'm going to be showing how you put the bag together and also how I decorate it. So I'm just showing the pieces which are included in the die. You get all of the pieces to make the bag and you also get the pieces to make a little heart shaker embellishment so i cut all of the pieces in this pink glitter card and then also cut them in this baby pink matte card because i wanted my bag to be pink on the outside on the inside as well as the outside i didn't want it to be white inside so that's how i've done that and i've just got all of the pieces i need ready to use and I decided to do the little heart embellishment first of all. Um, so that could be drying so I can put it on the bag at the end. But I didn't end up using it in the end. Um, I'm just going to use this for something else. I actually cut a whole bunch of these little heart embellishments. So I could make lots of them. I just think they're really cute embellishments. I'm using this really pretty Valentine's Day sequin mix from Cheryl. And it was so quick and easy to put that shaker together. And it's such a cute size. I love it. So first of all, I just stick all of them um, like inside layering pieces onto my glitter card. This isn't a necessary step. It's just if you're not using like double sided card or you're fine with yours being white inside, then you wouldn't need to do it. Um, but it does also add some extra stability. It's just making your card to be that little bit thicker as well. I'm using my Barely Art liquid glue for this project. And this project was actually so quick to do. It only took me I think 35 minutes to put it all together and to decorate it. And I took ages to decorate it because I was being so indecisive about it. Um, so I was really impressed. That was actually like a much quicker project than I was thinking it would be. And the bag is such a nice size. You're going to be able to fit so many things inside. I'll definitely do some photos on my Instagram of when I've filled it all up. So I'm just folding over on the fold line. So I'm getting all the little pieces ready to stick down. And I use some, um, I use my hot glue gun to just stick those edges down. The first time I stuck this down, I actually stuck it a bit wrong. I was thinking I needed to like curve the bottom, um, but I didn't. But luckily I was able to peel it off so I could re-stick it. So you just need to line the bottom of the side piece and the bottom of the, the long side piece is really that simple. Um, so put my little side piece on and then the longer side piece and then I think I put the bottom piece in. I just thought it was going to be easier rather than trying to squish my hand in once I'd stuck it all together. Oh, I'm a bit out of frame here. <laughs> um, in my new craft room, so I've got my new tripod, so I'm still getting used to um, like where where is in frame. I'm just sticking that last side piece on, and then I've got a bottom piece as well, which will cover all of the little glue tabs. And add some glittery sparkle to match the rest of the bag. I'm so, so happy with how this turned out. I think it looks so cute. I'm actually obsessed with it. And Scrap Diva Designs has quite a few different jelly bag dies now. I think this might be the third one. Um, I recently got the big square one. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm definitely going to be trying it soon because I had so much fun with this one. I think this would be so fun to do like a little gift, like not even for a craft friend, just for like a birthday gift for a family member. 
and um, because it's quite quick and easy to make like you could easily just make one up as like a little gift bag so I was trying out my little heart shaker but in the end I decided I wasn't going to use it and um, just look at how much space is in there I'm actually obsessed with it I did play around with ideas because I didn't really want to use it but I just wasn't sure where it would look good So I decided to dig out my new Valentine's Day embellishment tree, which I've just made. Um, I've got some photos of that on my Instagram as well. I basically just got this tray from Primark and I've put a really big selection of different Valentine's Day embellishments in there. And I'm just keeping that on my desk when I'm crafting. So I've got like a whole bunch of things um, which I can easily use. And also like the embellishments that people have made, I can use for inspiration as well. Now, when I was doing this little layout on here, I was just, I was taking forever. I couldn't decide what I was going to put on there. I tried all sorts of different things. I really like the heart embellishment and um, the rosette, layering it up with two. I tried balloons, I tried hot air balloons, gumball machines, kites. It was a really hard decision but I do get there in the end. I love the idea of these little balls to go on the handles. I thought that looked so cute. I think I put them below the handle and the end like that. So I'm going back to the heart rosette because I did love that so so much. This must be the part where I've, oh, I thought I'd finally just decided about having, I got my flower tree out. How dreamy does this look? I got these gold acrylic trays from Primark again. Um, they're in the makeup section and I just thought they would be perfect for my craft room. And I've got two full trays like this of handmade flowers and they're absolutely amazing. Whenever I need a handmade flower, I just grab out this drawer and I've got so many ready made and um, some of them I've made myself but most of them have been gifted to me in swaps and I decided to use these pink ones from Cheryl absolutely love how these look and this was my finished um idea finally decided on this one after so much thought went into it I wanted to decorate it more but I just didn't want to cover up the bag too much so you couldn't see it. I wanted to be able to see the bag so I just went for quite a simple decoration on it. And I still think it looks quite cute and then I think the balls were just a really cute finishing touch to it. So I'll add one on the front and on the back. I've been doing so many Valentine's Day projects at the minute with Scrap Diva Designs. I'm having so much fun with them. Um, I will tag this die in the description box. And I also have a 10% off discount code, which you can use on any Scrap Diva Designs dies. So if you're making a purchase, don't forget to use the discount code. Here is my finished heart jelly bag. I absolutely love it and I had so much fun making this. I know for a fact I'm definitely going to make more of these so soon and i love that it's not only for valentine's day you could do this for any single occasion so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now